so um unfiltered yes what a week right what a week what a week uh one of my neighbors burning is it's interesting with the burning and in, in beirut with the bombing the attack they whatever it was it was a mushroom cloud though always remember nuclear stuff goes mushroom fireworks don't <clears throat> anyway uh whew. I'm starting to call it the Middle East 911. Anyway, you know what? That, 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 this, whether you believe in astrology, astronomy, or whatever, if you have been studying the signs and studying the thing, and just studying Earth, you know that something's been brewing. You know that. I mean, some of us have been telling you about that forever. You know, you don't believe. It's okay. Your belief is not necessary. That's the whole point. Just, uh, and I had to learn that. I had to learn that, and that's how I had to, like, pull away from trying to convince people of shit just to see people steal my shit you don't believe me but you steal from me i'm telling you there is there is always some white man who thinks he knows more than every black woman in the world when you steal from us when you learn it from us i can go back a whole line of who taught who and you know what happened and then that mindset kicked in of greed and jealousy and it made you lose your mind and your soul and therefore your color perspective of things because all of a sudden you didn't see the garden color anymore you just saw shit in black and white you see i've got a tupac shirt on by the way right i've got a tupac shirt on i love tupac my hubby loved tupac my husband just in so many ways like uh, I think I gave you guys a story about uh, how he wanted to meet him, and it was during uh, New Year's Eve, and my best friend, you know, was the sheriff, and 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 and, and those who know Pac, Pac could just go off at at any time for nothing. So, and actually, my husband could too. <laughs> he was a military. He was just out of out of Desert Storm, and and just had been through some shit, been through some shit all his life. Uh, oof. There, I could see the, I, I, I could see the connection, on a lot of levels. So that being said, we decided that you know, it being New Year's Eve and everything, you know how energies already are in New Year's, and it was already in one of those places where you know it's like a lot of sim symbolism and shit going on. You know, it's just one of those things that you know you go in and you and you go out and you enjoy, and then you know you don't get caught up in it because you know, the energy's there those who know know what i'm talking about so you know he probably was mad because we didn't we said no two pisces two pisces went no you meeting tupac right now no i kind of regret the fact that i never let them meet but then again i don't you got to meet chuck d oh, it was great it was brilliant I, you know, I, I introduced him to people that I didn't want him because on his own he would find just motherfuckers that would just like fuck up that's how much he just loved everybody i guess i don't know i you know i grew up a little bit more selective i had a little bit more selective choice and i don't begrudge that i'm glad of that because it's that selective choice that's going to make you or break you right now if you don't learn how to choose better if you don't learn how to choose better for yourself if you don't know how to put the actions into that choosing better you just can't sit on your ass and expect god to handle it for you if you don't learn how to get healthier yourself how do not to depend on these doctors how to not depend on these politicians, how to do not depend on these leaders in these groups. If you don't learn how to do shit for yourself and see how this alignment works for you, then, you know, you're going to be fucked up. But getting back to Tupac, you know, he was not always hard hard. I mean, he was hard. The, bro the broken rap. Oh, God, please. Mind, mind, crazy mind, brilliant mind. But as the industry does, they don't want brilliant minds. They want thugs. Every known face has been given the opportunity of being a thug, you know, a, a, a talented person. You know, but the non-talented person automatically, <laughs> automatically, you're going to come off, you know, they're going to put you in a, in a thug or a thought category. You're going to do, you know, white people are going to do your music better than you, but you're going to be doing something in a thug or thought category, and then they're going to call that urban, and urban is so much more. Meanwhile, you know, you got white boys on the pop chart, you know, doing R and B, and they were. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't know what that's about. Or I do, but you know what? You guys seem to be okay with it, because it's not like you weren't warned. The point I'm trying to make about Pac is that this thug and gangster shit, unfortunately, a part of the choices that got him killed. Um, no matter how brilliant you are, 
And I put my husband that too, no matter how brilliant you are, poor choice will lead to poor consequences. That's just a given. If you are making poor choices, if you have been making poor choices, this is the time right now not to make those choices again. Not right now, not for the next several months, because that will like uh that will that will not benefit you in any way, except for a harsh lesson that will stick with you for the next several months to at least a year. And you can believe that or not, I don't care. You know, so it's just a yard. The yard of God. Find out what the yard is about. That's going on right now. I don't need to tell you about it. You can look it up. There's some people talking about it, I guess, or whatever. And that's another thing. You know what? You have a lot of people. Now I can say what they want to because they're saying I'm projecting right now. I'm not. I know who they are and they know who I am. You have a lot of people who literally like, well, let me just say this. If you want to know about me, come to me ask me don't go to people who you know be talking on my behalf or whatever they don't know who, or whatever say they or whatever the fuck that is you want to know i'm very transparent i am very i have nothing to hide i tell on myself i don't i don't have no images look look at me i don't have no images and he knows it and he loves it so who am i hiding from god knows exactly what i look like who said i was talking about god well my mirror i know what i look like and my reflection knows what I look like too. My shadow does too. So who do I, who do who do I give a fuck about? This got a problem with how I look like. If God is happy with me, so happy. <sighs> Ooh, the sun is shining on my head right now. I have got so much to say, but it's none of your business. Just, uh, you know what, let's get back to you and, and the choices that you are making. Now, I am so sick and tired of people coming off as thuggish and thottish and whatever. If that's your shit, fine, go with that. But I'm on to something else. I'm on to some other shit. I'm not saying I don't like that shit. I mean, I used to bounce to that shit, rock that shit, and I used to play that shit. I mean, remember, I, you know, I'm the generation who brought hip-hop to you. So it's like, okay, you know so much about hip-hop, hip but I'm part of the generation who brought this shit to you. So what do you know about it more than me? Realistically, I'm the experience. You are the, like, trend. Mm, that part. But you love those trends. You love those trends, but those trends don't love you unless they can feed off of you like vampires. They co-opt what you like or what they think you like, or they try to push what you like into really what they're about or what they like. The next thing you know, they got you believing that you like what they like when you really don't like that at all. But somehow they manipulated shit and you went with it. You fell for the trick. Instead of the treat. Now, instead of catching good stuff, you're catching the heat. <laughs> of hell whose fault is that wasn't me that brought you lack it was yourself for being fucking whack so anyway okay sound like some military brat would say and did anyway oh god <laughs> that too uh anyway there's two of us now that too well three well oh it's a whole family it's it's a, it's 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 a, it's a lot. I'm gonna like leave that there, and just you know what? I just I'm just saying be aware. I'm gonna continue to do my story because that's what I do. Hashtag the Oracle Parables. Hashtag Daily Receipts. Hashtag I am Val Jones. I am Val Jones. Uh, hashtag WWVD. What would V do? Who's V? Val? Phoenix? Who, who, who's V to you? Don't act like you know because I'm still learning me. So how can you know about me if I'm still learning me? And yet you have some of those that know so much about me and they clearly don't know nothing about me. But the good thing about it is that that's why I leave my own legacy and my own story so no one else won't tell my story. And that's what you need to do because so many people have been telling lies and all these books and stuff. And that ain't what I do. I'm not here to live the lie. I'm here to live the truth. Whether you like it or not. Ooh, we both are. He still likes to play those games. He still likes to dip and dab in that industry. I'm not about that shit. I am not about that shit, but I will go where he, you know, I will go where he goes.
but he will keep me away from my life. I mean, I, he, he knows. I, I'm not, you know, fake people come to me, I start to itch. When I start to itch, I start to twitch. And when I start to twitch, stuff happens. Because I'm a witch. No, 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 no. But because I said that, watch somebody take that shit and run with it. And that's why I can't fuck with y'all. You guys are like so insane on the brain. On the membrane. I don't know what this is or what game you're playing. It ain't checkers. It ain't chess. It's just death and stupidity. It's like, you know, one flew over the cuckoo's nest. And I guess I was the one that flew over because y'all just want to be in the cuckoo's nest. Whatever. Now let's get to voting. Get off your ass and do that. I don't give a fuck what you think about politics or whatever this, that, blah, 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 blah. Whether you think it's everything's a hoax or whatever. Shit's happening. Regardless of what you think, shit's happening. So you can either, like, you know, just sit and not do nothing about it. And when the time comes, you're going to you're gonna feel, you're going to feel your um, action or non-action. Trust me, you will. That's the only warning I can give you. I can give you, I can give you predictions and visions, but at what cost? When is your lesson? Will you learn your lesson? Does somebody have to keep telling you, you don't listen anyway? So are you, will you actually learn your lesson? Will you get it? Or will you continue to do st the same stupid ratchet shit that some of you do? I do not deal with ratchets. And let me tell you, I'm coming from a Pisces. I know for a fact Pisces can be righteous or ratchet. I choose to be somewhere in between. I'm not dealing with ratchets on no level of no sign. Because you know what? Ratchets will always somehow or another stab you in the back. And that's a fucking fact. I don't know what that is. That's you guys. But I just know that energy when I feel it. And whether they realize it or not, because they may think they're righteous and they're righteous as fuck. But I'm just saying that energy, if you know it, then throw your hands up if you're with me on what I'm saying. They will put you in lack. They will do something that's so what they would every time it's just some shit that that you just end up going so when you first get that inkling don't deal with it you don't have to if it's meant to be in your life it will they'll come through but that other stuff you gotta pick up i told you one time before your light is shining now but the thing about the light it can attract other light or it can attract moths these are not butterflies these are moths you bring these moths into your silk factory into your satin factory they will eat that shit all up and won't give a fuck We speak in parables because you can't get the truth. So anyway, uh, have have a happy weekend. What would Tupac do? I bet he would make better choices. The industry wants to push all the really positive, really talented, really super talent in the thugs and hoes so they can take your money and your life. It's all about greed. All of this is all about greed, about money, about insecurities, about people with little minds and, and little dicks, and, 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 they, and, they, and they overcompensate by raping everybody. They'll rape their own mama. I don't know why you won't think that they'll rape you. And I'm not just talking about, you know, white people, because, listen, black people do that, too. You better understand that it is not the color right now. It's the spirit. Just don't judge by the color. Because I've got some people who are, who are, who are my color that I would not fuck with for a million dollars. A billion dollars. They ain't my tribe. They ain't my people. Because their integrity is fucked up. They got to, they got to know. You know what? It's not a joke. This is not a time for the jokey joke now. This is the real shit. I'm giving you a hit. That's why he comes to me, natural DMT. I have never did shrooms a day in my life and have no need to. Look at me. Do I look like I need to be on summer? I trip every fucking day. The colors that you see, the the the, 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 the triangles and the stuff I've heard people say that they see when they're on shrooms, I just kind of go, yeah. So that shit is a child, man. I mean, I was a child. I don't know nothing. Well, maybe chocolate. <laughs> maybe that's why I love chocolate so much. I don't know, but I'm like, you know, you, 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 you take, you do, you go to all these levels to get this like psychedelic feel, and that's me naturally. Natural DMT. You plug in a day or a week or a night with me, 
I have you seen all kinds of things. How you think? How you think he will not let this go? You know how that kind can be. Mine. But the truth of the tr uh, but actually the truth of the matter is the truth of the matter is you know we had to probably break a lot of rules for this to be you know like hit us kind of in the butt like this. The truth of the matter is though we knew when we came to this. I me being preemie, you know I came up a little early and I forgot. I forgot that he was my one. The energy's always been there. The energy's been in all the ones I end up choosing, but there, there's a there's a frequency, there's a signature. And uh I I I forgot I got so wrapped up into saving the bullshit, you know, instead of just like swim out of it. Crop out of it. Come on. Star seed. Come back to the stars. You're you're in the dirt. You're in the manure. Snap out of it. You can't change the manure. You change when you grow up and into the light. Because manure is just a grave. It's not even a, a, a living grave at a certain point. It's just manure. Living ground is earth. Anything that can produce life is a living, conscious, being type of thing. Manure can't produce shit. Hey! Manure can't produce shit. Manures just helps somehow that manure, that 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 bullshit action helps flowers that fertilizer that little bit of the it's almost like uh, vaccines I guess it's like a little bit of the stuff that uh, I don't know I don't want to, don't want to say it like that but anyway the manure helps the plants to grow but manure by itself can't grow shit mind my words on that try growing something try try growing try try just growing something like waiting for manure to grow something but the ground is growing something all the time living know the difference between living and dead some people think that they're in living ground and they're in dead ground so at this moment you're either getting up out of the ground or you're staying in the ground i got too caught up with trying to help you know people who I guess it's their destiny to It's not their destiny to go with me. I'll put it that way. So anyway, I think I've said enough. Man, this was longer than I wanted it to be. But keep following me. Or not. Do what you want to do. I'm just doing me. I don't, you know, I'm not getting paid to do this shit. But if you would like to so tip me, hit me at my cash app at, you know, the dollar sign, Val Jones, da -o, Val Jones, D-A-O. And again, uh, hashtag the Oracle Parables, hashtag daily receipts, hashtag I am Val Jones. My website, I am Val Jones .com. I haven't done anything in my website in about a year, so I don't know what the fuck it looks like. It's like with, uh, next year I'll be doing seminars. You know, I know some people are probably going to take what I just said and they're going to be doing seminars. Okay, but remember, there's only one me in the way I say it. But next year, I will be doing seminars. Actually, God has told me, don't worry about doing shit for the rest of the year. You just get right and get ready, queen. <laughs> okay. Okay. I can do that. <laughs> Guess I paid my dues. I have. I have paid many dues. Anyway, um, for entertainment purposes only, oh yeah, we be educating and entertaining here. <gasps> love you. Love yourself some more.